The world of sidecar racing also demands a high degree of teamwork and an enormous amount of skill. In this instance, Elf has worked hard to improve fuels and lubricants for private entrants who dream that they might one day reach the peak of their sport, like Alain Michel. Alain Michel is an unyielding and determined man from Montélimar. He has spent half his life pursuing one goal, the title of world sidecar champion. For a long time, and too frequently a runner-up, he would have to wait until 1990 before finally succeeding in his life's aim, after many years of hard work and disappointment. The first time Alain Michel missed the title, which should by rights have been his, but for an extraordinary and unpredictable incident. That was at Hockenheim in the last race of the 1986 season. Alain, the last Grand Prix. Yeah, this is the last Grand Prix. We'll soon know what happens. We'll have the results of the whole season. My helmet became unfastened and it opened up when I turned around to see where I was in comparison with the others with whom I was racing. I did three quarters of the race with my helmet open. It was like a parachute over my head and it slowed us down tremendously on the straights. We lost 300 revs, so we didn't do better than fifth and that lost us the world championship title. It was an enormous disappointment for us this year. Frankly, it's affected our desire to do it again next year. But we'll be ready next year and we'll try again. But I think all I'll do is to prove that I'll never be world champion because even though I'm capable of winning the title, there always seems to be something that goes wrong. It's hard to believe, but that's how it is. Hard to believe, of course, particularly when one is regularly placed in the top six, when one has mastered one's chosen sport, when one prepares everything with such care, when one gives so much of oneself. But then such are the highs and the lows. Finally, Michel and Berchot were rewarded for all their years of effort with a world title in 1990.